what's up happy friday y'all happy friday um i am home i've been home all day and the last time i've been out was yesterday i was out which was thursday which was thursday because i had to go to a meeting at my job and then after that i had to go pick up mercaya from school and pick up my niece from school um i'm back to being car chauffeur again because my mother's car is <sighs> the new one that she just got it's it's yeah fucking problems with that so irritated um so fast forward to today today is friday you guys um april 1st so we are in a new month you guys and even though the month is starting off a little bit rocky for me it does not mean that that's how the whole month is gonna go we are going to ex to speak life we're going to speak positivity we're going to speak enlargement of territory we're going to speak opportunities new opportunities we're going to speak peace, okay? Because Lord knows I pray for that every day for continuous and permanent peace. That's what I want and that's what I'm going to keep fighting for and praying for. Um, I go outside today, literally a few minutes ago because Markaya keeps coughing. So that's one of the reasons why I stayed home today. I didn't have to work. That was a big thing why I did not go out today at all. And then number two, I didn't feel like going to um, the other side of town where I used to live and where my job is at, where my car school is at. And so I just let my mother take my car because I wanted to stay home. I'm tired. I needed to rest. I still need rest. And um, yeah, so I just came back from Dollar General and I got a couple things from there. I got some cough medicine, um, a thing of laundry detergent, the powdered one, because it goes, it goes further. Um, <clears throat> speaking of laundry detergent, I did laundry today, you guys. Um, downstairs in the apartment complex because I didn't have my car, so I had no choice but to do it downstairs in the car in the apartment complex. But good thing that when I went, it was like twelve o'clock and it was nobody down there. Being that today, you know, people at run that time, people are at work. So, yeah. Also, so I go outside to go to Dollar General to get Marquise some cough medicine, and lo and behold, I see something. When I drive off, I peep like that it was something on the right side of my windshield and on the passenger side and i'm thinking that it was like bird poop or whatever and so i go to use my um windshield wipers and it doesn't come off so i'm looking at it and i take my finger and i touch it from the inside of, of the car and i see that my window my windshield is cracked and i'm so annoyed because i got tents on it i have tents on the front two uh windows the passenger and driver seat windows now you guys and in the windshield uh, I don't know because we have branches here so and trees that hang over like this over the complex and over the parking lot so wherever you park for the most part there's trees right and there's branches that fall off straight stray trees or that be on top of the car on top of your car top of the vehicle whatever right so I get that but I'm hoping 
I mean, I guess I'm hoping that's what it was, but even still, like, I'm responsible for it. And, like, who has money for that? Like, I don't understand. It just seems like every time I turn around, I'm having to kick out for something. And it's very much so stressing me out and getting on my last nerve. Um, it's a small, like, literally like this, y'all. Like this. It's a small, like, see my finger right here? Small crack in the fucking windshield. And when I touch on it from the inside, I don't, I don't feel like, you know, like sharpness. So it's definitely on the outside it's cracked. But I just know that I've seen it before. Other people, it gets worse. So I don't want it to get worse, y'all. So I have to take care of that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, that's the update on everything that's been going on with me. I have not been vlogging. And so this is not going to be a weekly vlog, I don't think. Oh gosh, I have been being a bad vlogger. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just that I don't know. I just, I guess, I haven't been feeling in the mood. I've been in like a funk or whatever, so I haven't been vlogging this week really. Um, and I just don't like to vlog when I am in a funk or I'm in a shitty mood or I feel like I have a lot of stuff going on that's not positive. Um, so, I don't know, but today is Friday, I'm back in the house now, y'all, and I guess I'll show you guys what I got from Dollar General, and then we're gonna continue to go along with the rest of the day, mm. I got some chicken cutlets that are already, like, breaded that I got from ShopRite when I showed you guys the haul, so yes, I did vlog yesterday, not in ShopRite, but I showed you guys, like, what I got, so I'm not gonna be like talking how you're talking when I do the hauls. You guys are just gonna see the items. So I got like some meats, I got some beef ribs, beef stew, I got a pack of chicken, um, breaded chicken cutlets. I got a pack of two packs of like the RDCs season like thighs that they have usually at ShopRite or Price Shopper. Um, they were like a dry rub, like a barbecue rub. It looked really good. So I like to get sometimes the pre-seasoned meat because if I'm in a rush and I want to cook something really quickly for us to have for dinner because it's been a long day, that's usually what I go to or go for. And I add a vegetable or two veg vegetables with it as a side. Um, And then I got some, what else did I get from it? Oh, I got the granola bars, the hard ones and the chewy ones because... Markaya likes when they when the school give them to her for a breakfast so I went ahead and bought some for the house and they were on sale as well so that was another thing that sold me on them they're $1.99 so I got about six packs of those boxes of those um I got some banana muffins so you guys are gonna see all of that but I'm just not gonna be talking I'm gonna put music over it and then um it'll just say grocery haul so I'm just telling you guys now after you see that clip what the items were if you guys are not sure but I show you guys like visually what the stuff is um but other than that i haven't been vlogging so yeah i've been cleaning and i think i told you guys i did laundry and yeah my gas tank takes 40 dollars now to fill it up that's another thing that's very irritating just just like the stress to know everything is going up and, and just to live is so expensive it's i'm stressed i will say that i'm stressed um, I'm trying to live a frugal life. I don't really buy like, you know, designer stuff. I don't do all of that stuff. I live within my means, you would say, right? I don't try to keep up with the Joneses or keep up with anybody thus far. I drive a Buick Encore. Some people may say, oh my God, that's for old people. Buicks are good vehicles, period, point blank. Okay, my grandmother and grandfather, that's all they drove was Buicks. They've had the oldest to the newest. So... You know, for me, it doesn't matter. It's a vehicle and it's going to get me running to go. I drove a N Nissan Versa. was my first ever vehicle. Um, and yeah, love that car. So I drive whatever is good to me and is within my price range and what I can afford because I'm not about to be out here paying bazooka money, a car payment, car note, and I can't afford it. Or the gas for it is super expensive and I'm sitting here looking stupid. My car, the Buick Encore, it used to take $25, 20 to $25 to fill it up. Now it's literally $40, y'all. 35 to $40, like, oh my God. So I've been praying that 
I know they said the groceries. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably have seen on the news. The groceries are going to be going up to, um, there's going to be another spike in the grocery uh, prices. So, yeah, that's why now I go grocery shopping when I see sales. Three for 10, four for 10, three for 11, three for nine, two for six, two for five, because, baby, I can't. Um, but I, I shopped like that before, even before the, you know, inflation and price inflation and food and groceries, um, took place. So, but now even more so I have to penny watch what I spend and, you know, things like that. And I, I know that everybody can relate to that, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've been trying to make some changes behind the scenes that I haven't spoke to you guys about as far as like occupation and stuff like that. So I'm figuring that out, and then once I have a final, you know, verdict and all that stuff, I'll let you guys know. But I just wanted to come in and check in and say, hey, um, I got to start this small vlog off here. It's not going to be long. I've been talking for 10 minutes because I'm trying to update you guys on what's going on. So I do apologize if I'm long-winded or you guys feel that you don't want to sit and listen to the updates. You guys can go ahead and skip past this, okay? Um, I don't know what's going to be recorded after this, but whatever it is stay tuned and yeah i love you guys so much make sure you guys like share subscribe comment down below i hope that you guys have been enjoying the past weekly vlogs because if you guys have i know that i have been enjoying um recording them for you and then just looking back on it watching it it's been so so fun to see so i hope you guys continue to support your girl for free because we love you for free over here and my kind and i appreciate each and every one of you guys who continue to come back click like and support make sure you guys share 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 hit that subscribe button if it's right on your end because you're doing something wrong sis okay follow your girl on tiktok kai mommy's journey kai mommy's journey one word there's no ian asher in the middle and then um follow us on instagram at Mar uh, ashanti underscore markaya those are always usually down below in the description box so yeah i love you guys so much stay safe stay blessed it's a gloomy rainy day um, one minute the sun is out, one minute it's not. Like right now, the sun is like kind of peeking through my window, and I guess the sun is about to set. Um, when we came in the house, coming in the house from Dollar General, it was raining, starting to rain a little bit. So, yeah, y'all. So pray for me. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for my strength. Pray, pray for my sanity. Pray for permanent peace because that's what I want and everything in my life. And oh, and your girl's time of the month came. <laughs> Ti, I meant T. T M I. But it is what it is, okay? So, I'm all over the place with that, I guess, as far as my hormones and stuff like that. So, uh, but, uh, you know, these days don't last always, right? So, yeah, y'all, I will see you guys tomorrow because I got to work tomorrow 9 to 3. And we're going to go to Walmart because I need to get some Markaya some undershirts. She needs, 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 needs some undershirts because the undershirts now they kind of have shrunk so i need to get some that cover her stomach and she you know they're not rising up i hate that like i don't like when her shirts any of her shirts or sweaters whatever rise up for me it's just it screams like i don't want anything to be an excuse for somebody you know a, an older man or anything to be looking at her inappropriately so we're gonna take care of that tomorrow i'm gonna get that and i do need to pick up maybe a couple other little little things from walmart um the prices there at Walmart have gotten freaking outrageous. But we're going to get a couple things from Walmart, you guys. And um, I need to get a money order. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it or not to get the money order tomorrow. Because rent is due. <laughs> rent is due. How and lovely, right? So, yeah, y'all. <sighs> Just adult stuff. Nobody told me that this was going to be like this when I was younger. And I was so rushing to be an adult. Now, look. Boo, tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. I don't want to do it anymore. Period. Okay? So, yeah. Talking for 12 minutes now. Let me go. I love y'all. See you guys tomorrow in the morning when I go to work. And y'all stay safe, okay? I love y'all. Okay, y'all. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, y'all. Um, It's around like 5.30 right now. And I've been home for a little bit. Um, Fed Markaya. Now she's in the bath. Um... And I want to show you guys what I got from Dollar General from yesterday. I never got to show you guys because I end up just, you know, stop vlogging basically. So I got three of the foaming bath eucalyptus and spearmint scent. I love these for her. Um, when she and I were both battling uh, the Marion, they these helped her 
with like opening up her chest and stuff like that and they have epsom salt in it <clears throat> anything eucalyptus or spearmint is really really good i feel anyway this is the uh studio selection brand so this is the dollar general brand these are only three dollars you guys and this is a big bottle so yeah um next i got some suave ocean breeze refreshing bar soap i had seen these on tiktok on a the one of the people who do like their shower routines she had these in her shower and i was like i have to have them like girl so i got the bar soap of the ocean breeze six pack these were like two dollars as well super cheap and then i got a pack of the coco shea calming bar soap of the suave as well and this is a pack of six and then i got the i don't know what you guys but i like powder detergent if i am balling on a budget or whatever or penny pinching i do get the liquid brand of any um detergent like dollar tree brand and i wash my clothes with that but for the most part i do like to get the ariel i think it's ariel or the foca foca boca this stuff is so good it smells so good a lot of the times i don't even need to have um y'all know what is it called again damn fabric softener fabric softener I, a lot of times i don't need it when i use this because it's so strong so this was like five dollars and then i got two of the zarbies cough um and mucus dark honey and ivy leaf because this is really good for you know children and it helps it's really effective with the cough as well especially with the cough y'all so it's a little bit pricey this was um i think nine dollars or seven dollars at dollar general one of the other but a lot of times at Target, you can catch it in the two-pack, um, whether it be for the newborns or the babies or for the bigger kids. Um, and it's usually like $12 for the two-pack. So it's a really good brand. Zarbies is just the bomb. My sister put me onto this um, about two years ago. And then ever since, I try to get Zarbies all the time. If not, I go to Robitussin or Dimatap. But nonetheless, Zarbies is really good. If you're on a budget, go ahead and get Robitussin. It's cheaper, but Zarbies is good, y'all. So that's what I got from Dollar General yesterday, which was Friday. But again, I didn't show y'all yesterday when I ran out, y'all. And I was telling y'all about my windshield being cracked. Yeah. Um, I'm going to come back and show you guys what I got from Champion. Um, from Champs. I'm sorry, Champion. Champs store um, in the mall over where I work at. I went there to get my nephew something for his birthday. So I'm going to show you his sneakers, y'all. So I got him a pair of sneakers. And I'm going to show you what I got Markaya because she got... A good report card, y'all. My baby got a good report card for his second marking period. Period. So we're gonna end this. Um, we're gonna end this school year off strong, y'all. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I told you guys I was gonna come back and show you guys what I got from the sneaker store, Champion store, Champs store. I keep saying Champion, the Champs store. So if you guys don't know, but a lot of times the sneaker stores now they're selling the Crocs inside the sneaker stores. So I was able to find some on sale, even though I did not go there for that. I went to get my nephew something, but I had to reward baby girl because as y'all know, and I told you guys, she got a good report card. So guess what? When you get a good report card, you get rewarded. So therefore, um, I went ahead and cashed out just a little bit. Some of these, well, I think two pair of mine, but the rest of hers, and these, these are my nephew's sneakers. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Um... So, these are the first pair over here. In my household, if you do good in school, I have no problem buying you your heart's desires or what you would like as long as you are respectful and you are doing what your mother asked you to do. Period. Point blank. So, these ones are Markaya's. These are so cute, y'all. Look. I'm glad the sun is beaming in, too. So pretty. So cute. So, these are like a tie-dye one. It's pink. We don't have these ones, so I got her these. These were 39, y'all. Okay. And now y'all know in a croc store, you go croc on crocs online if you freaking $54. I'm not paying that. Sorry. I love me some crocs, but I'm not paying that. Like right there. That's cheap right there. So next up, I got her these ones. These are definitely hers. Cause she loves blue, y'all. Hold on. Hold it up better so I can see. She loves blue. So I got her these ones. It's so pretty. And these ones were $29, y'all. You cannot beat that. $29 for some crops. Yeah. They're coming home with me. She has a whole bunch of the little gidget things. So my sister got her them, so she don't need no more of those. All right. And I think these ones, I think I'm about to show you guys are mine. So 
So these ones are hers as well. Because she loves blue. So period. She got these. So cute, y'all. So she got three pair, I believe. Yeah. Three pair and I got two pair. I was going to get the blue ones too. But I didn't. I just got. I got me these as well. So we're twinning. And I get mine in a size. So it's equivalent to a men's five and a women's seven. The six, they fit too, but the seven give me a little bit more room um, when I have a sock on. And I like to wear socks with them a lot of the time, so that's why I got the seven. Usually, I do get the six, but those ones are mine. And then the next pair that I got for myself were these ones here, period. So we got two pair, like the pink ones and these ones, and then the dark blue ones. I didn't get like her only because I don't know why I didn't get them. If I really want them or like them, I'll go back and get them. But those are what we got as far as Crocs. So Markaya got three pair. I got two. So my um my nephew's sneakers came to $72. They were um $70, but then the tax, y'all know. 4% tax. So these are his sneakers. They are cute. I don't care what anybody say. They mad cute. So I got him these. Or whatever. So cute. My nephew got a big old foot. It's a three. Kids three. So I got him those. And they mad cute. So I got him those. For his birthday. So that's his birthday present. Or whatever. To my nephew. April 6th period and that's what i got from the sneaker store y'all so this was separate from a different store this was from jimmy jazz and then this one was the purchase from champs and i paid i want to say 146 for all five of these so that was a really good deal y'all really good deal definitely check out the sneaker stores first before you go purchase them at the croc store i mean if you got money money like that go ahead and purchase them at the croc store i'm not because i don't have money money like that but um 39.99 29.99 those are all my price range um i'm not paying no more i don't think than 39 dollars for some crocs yeah yeah um pushing it maybe 49 maybe maybe Depends if I really want them. But yeah, that's what I got from the sneaker stores. Jimmy Jazz for my nephew and Champs for us. So yeah, y'all. Happy Saturday. I will see you guys later. Bye. Good morning, y'all. And happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you guys. Um, Right now, it is 12.58, almost 1 o'clock. Yes, I slept in. But I needed it. Um, Right now, I'm in the middle of prepping dinner so i'm gonna be making beef stew with mashed potatoes and some type of vegetable probably broccoli because i think i seen the pack in the freezer <clears throat> um markaya is just sitting down to have brunch so she's having two of these little banana muffins with um a handful of grapes and also uh three sausages so that's what she's having for breakfast and um I just gave her her cough medicine. She had a cup of water. And I'm going to give her a thing of juice too. Because she needs to still have vitamin C. I'm um, about to make the bed. And start prepping uh, dinner. So meaning like clean the meat and stuff like that. So you guys will see that. And um, get that started right now. I am watching Kanye West. Documentary. Oh my god. So I haven't like. It's just the beginning, but I can just tell that it's going to be so good. It's amazing how he knew or thought to record and just document, like, the different little parts or different big parts, major parts in his life and milestones when he was doing different things, um, stand-up, stage, at, um, you know, anything that he did. So, I can't wait to finish watching it. So, it's an hour and some change. Um, I guess I'm going to quickly make this bed and relax because it's raining outside. It's a rainy day, y'all. That's why it was hard for me to get up this morning. It was a rainy, freaking gloomy day. I just opened the window, the blinds, and it's rainy outside. So, yeah. So, today, not much going on. Just cooking, chilling, watching movies, and watching series and stuff like that. I got to watch my Force, new episode from Force, from Tommy. I'm going to watch that probably when dinner is done, honey. 
Um, the beef stew probably won't take no more than three hours. So it'll be done probably by four o'clock. Um, I hope you guys are having a great and amazing day. Um, we are almost to the finish line of my time of the month because, girl, I'm, I'm over it. Last night I did film, I was up late filming a try on haul on TikTok. And I also posted a reel on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following your girl on Instagram, Ashanti and Square Markaya. I would really, really, really appreciate it. It would help me out a lot. And I am putting in the work, you guys. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. So please, 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 if you guys can do that for me, I would truly appreciate it. Um, also follow your girl on TikTok, Kai Mommy's, Kai Mommy's Journey. So there's no and, it's just Kai Mommy's Journey. Um, Instagram, Ashanti and Square Markaya. Um, what else? did i do last night oh so i'm gonna record the try on haul for you guys here and then for youtube and then that'll be probably like it for today what i'm gonna be doing as far as filming because i want to relax but yeah i just wanted to come and say hello happy sunday y'all and um don't mind my stupid lights in the back but yeah y'all take care y'all Your love.